Thank God we got out of there. All right. Yeah, finally. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh. All right, let's go. Okay. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Jumpy! Yay, Akane. Huh? Once again, <laughs> we reunite with Akane. Oh man, I don't know how many times this will happen. June? We've. We, this is the second time we've managed to avoid uh, her getting killed while, be, while being separated from us, so... We're really taking chances here. Santa! Seven! We better not split up a third time. Hey, what are you guys doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? Hey, on the wall. A map of the ship's interior? Useful. It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? Door seven and... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. I will say, 7 out of all the characters, 7 is one of the characters that I actually like more than others, even though I was making fun of him originally. Uh, doesn't seem like a bad guy, genuinely, but who knows, we can't really trust anybody for sure, except Akane. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. Okay. And that's how the nonary game works. Damn it. Wait a sec. This leads to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. We're missing. Um... I knew it. We're back. Oh, here we go. <laughs> In the hospital room. I was gonna say we're missing Ace, but Ace. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. Oh, you know, I thought he actually killed himself, but I guess I was wrong. I guess he just put him to sleep, put himself to sleep temporarily. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. Hiya there, Ace. How's it going? Missed you, buddy. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory. Indeed. And then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. Yep. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Well, we saw each other again and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Here. Whoa. <laughs> nice catch. Jeez. I see. So this is Jupiter. I'm gonna let you hold on to that, alright? Yeah, on it. Well, I've got something for you, too, then. Here, it's the Saturn key card. We found it in the kitchen. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. You were with me the entire time. When you... We did... I guess you found it when she was separated from us earlier. Yeah. On it. So, how many unused keys do we have now? There's the three. Earth key we found in the laboratory. The Jupiter key you just gave me. And the Saturn key card from Lotus. Yep. I'll keep them safe. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as 7 and 8. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door 3. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. 
I think it's time I was up and about again. So, Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me? Damn. Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. Two big guys. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. Lotus is actually very, very smart. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. Cool. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it. Onward to new adventures. Great! Back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Uh, of course there's a reason. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? Got him. <laughs> this. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? I'm lost. Don't you remember, Santa? No, he's an idiot. On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. Yeah, yeah. And on A Deck, on the door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. So, the two keys that Jumpy has? Should let us use the elevator and the door on A-deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Oh, not this crap again. All right, I go with Akane, you go with Lotus. Go fuck yourself, okay? That's all. Lotus and I will search the Earth one, okay. so you two can search Saturn, good all job. right? All right, Santa, you, you read my mind. Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea what's on the other side of these. So don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Great! It looks like it's working now. All right. Now how do I call the elevator? Oh, it only has the upside down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. There's only, uh... It only goes down, I suppose. It... it opened! Look, Jumpy! That's an elevator that does not look like it takes you to good places. Oh, sweet! It opened! Let's get going. W w wait What? Uh... I'm not really, uh... I just, uh... Oh, gosh. being locked up alone with a boy? <laughs> what a dumb answer. <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor, D-deck is completely underwater. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. We should do it anyway. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? It would be wet if it was coming up from submerged floor, a submerged floor. Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. It's completely dry. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, 
I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. I, I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. Smart. It's good to double check. Still dry, right? Yeah. Yep. Not a single drop of water to be seen. See? What does that mean? How can E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? Uh, I I'm coming know. with you! Yeah, just, just, let her, just let her come with us. Huh? I'm tired of being separated. Hey, wait! So we're gonna come up and she's oh, gonna be gone. It closed. Damn it. I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah, jeez. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna come back up and she's gonna be completely gone. So, rather avoid that. It looks normal. <laughs> I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. <laughs> this part hasn't flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. <sighs> You're right. It's not flooded at all. See? It isn't. Oh. But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? We will uh, drown. We'd probably die. Yeah. Oh no, don't be so casual about something like that. I like how uh, me and Junpei literally had the same sort of like emotion and like emotionless answer. This is why I relate to him. At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. Sure. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then... Alrighty. Iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then maybe... Well... It looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that... Let's check. I knew it! This is a numbered door! But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for E-Deck? I should take it with me. Huh, so you guys found door one. So now we've located two new doors. The six door and the one door. You know, it is interesting that E-Deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E-Deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Even so, it's still very interesting. He said the sixth door was there, right? Yes. Then that means Zero planned all this out, even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. 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 Um. Yeah? Um. I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? <laughs> Bye, Santa. Just kidding. All right, let's go. Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? <laughs> Seven? Relax. Hmm. Um. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? 
Snake was... Snake is... Snake is... Dead. What? How? He died. Just as the ninth man did. No way. I don't... Why didn't we see a like a like a death cutscene or a body or something? Oh my god, that's not true, is it? It can't be. Uh, we should make sure. Yeah, right. We should. Wait, not that way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so I'm going that way. Uh, where is uh, where is he? The shower room. Left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there too to keep the door. Well, that means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh, uh, man. Oh, it smells horrible. Ugh, yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. Until I see his body. June, you should stay here. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? Alright? Oh. I'm going in. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god. The the bone is coming oh. out of his left arm. Oh. It's definitely an open fracture. Gross. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. But the clothes are. No mistake about it. It's Snake. You sure? Damn. I guess that rules him out from being a suspect. Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the ninth man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it, alone, and waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake, but he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. Very descriptive. Uh, are you sure you're not just uh, specifying what happened when you did it? It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door, and then, 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. So it was two people that fucked him over. Hmm. Yeah. So we have two uh, culprits now. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. And that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah, that means anybody could be a killer. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? Well, we can rule out me and uh, Akane, obviously. How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer! Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What? Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner, and those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. 
Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm. Good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. I'm not sure about that. Uh, something's still strange. Hmm? Well, I'm just wondering about one thing. And what's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on this ship? Really, Junpei? I confess I'm a little disappointed. Usually, you're rather sharp. You're very defensive about this entire accusation um, of it being two people that could possibly be, be suspects. Isn't it obvious? Wait, it is? This ship. Huh? Zero said, this ship, several times when he addressed us. Right, because he said this ship instead of the ship, that means he's on the ship. Otherwise, he would have said the ship. If he weren't here, he wouldn't say this ship, would he? He'd be saying something like that ship or the ship. Oh, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. If Zero's on the ship, where is he? Mm -hmm. Could be anywhere. He could be among you for all you know. I think... I think Zero is one of us. That's possible, definitely. Mm. Well, that's definitely possible. Definitely possible. Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. What better way to keep an eye on people than being among them, you know? What are you saying, Jumpy? Didn't you hear what Ace said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason. I've got a great reason. And what's that? The bracelets. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. If that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Huh. You got a point. I'm not done. Try applying the same ideas to the Nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? Maybe he's just lazy. So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero is one of us. What were his motives? His motives? Yes, isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because I don't know. Supervision. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. Also, if you're among the people that you're trying to manipulate, you can manipulate them better or enforce the rules of your game better. 
In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. I don't really think that's enough to go on, you know? Ah. Ah, you guys are stupid. I think Jinpei's right. It's three in the morning. That's the big plot twist, you know? Like, oh, shit, he's zero. That means we have three hours left. Not a lot of time. Then we need to move now. Is this like towards the end of the game, or does three hours mean like 50 more hours of gameplay? I'm not sure. Seven, Clover, Junpei, I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but... We must go. We have very little time left. Our next destination is Mercury. But maybe you and June should check it out first and then report back to us. All right, let's go, June. Right. Here it is. The Mercury card reader. We're using the card Seven gave us, right? Yeah. I found it when we were checking out the shower room. I think Seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I'm happy we were put together. Yeah, finally. It's been like, I don't know, half the game and we've been separated for the entirety of it, so. Uh, you know it's just for searching E-Deck, right? Let's enjoy it while it lasts. I have a feeling we'll get separated again. Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. Oh, first we need to find out if the elevator comes up full of water. Just like we did before. Oh, here it is. I knew it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Yes. Look! Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the C and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. This is the bottom deck. Hey, over there. This is a numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. There were two numbered doors on B deck near the central staircase. They were doors four and five. Three more in the large hospital room. Doors three, seven, and eight. And the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. It was a six on the door on E deck, and a one on the door on A deck. That means... Do you think the next door we find? Yeah, I think so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. Let's head back. Okay. One, two, cool. three, four. Mm. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Yes, just like you told us earlier. <sighs> Can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah. This is a complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. First one says, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? I would do like you to explain, Ace. No, we don't have time for that. Sorry. Let's keep going. Next is Santa. He, would he explain wants door it six. For like six hours, probably, so we don't have time for that. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Wait a minute! Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man! No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But... Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. 
she doesn't look old to me. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, not good. Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! Junpei, read the rest. <laughs> He's like, please, I can't handle this shit. <laughs> uh, right. June wants door six. Yes, I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Door six. Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through... Uh, uh, door six. I want to go through door six. Not this time. You ain't getting me, game. We're sticking with Akane. It's not happening a third time. No. That's a problem. Fuck. <laughs> None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Clover and I chose door one. I don't care. Lotus and I chose door two. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. The digital routes don't match up either. We've got similar problems. Fuck. June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six, but our digital route is five. If we're gonna open that door, we need a one. Damn, what are we gonna do now? <sighs> what are we going to do? Hmm. 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 <sighs> Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one? With me. <sighs> what about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? Oh, damn, he just got roasted. You mean I should join Santa's team? Yes. Huh, I understand. I'll go through door six then. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door and no one will be left behind. We got a big crew now. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me. All right then. We're good to go. Let's do it. See you later. Right. Wait, Clover! Don't move on your own! Oh, I'll be going too then. Yeah, be careful. We should get going as well. Yep. I like that we've been able to, like, keep the groups fresh. You know, like, I haven't really... I don't think I've... Each group I've had has been different people. With the exception of Akane uh, appearing and reappearing. And this time we've got a bigger group, so we've broken the the three-person group trend that was uh, happening. This is E-Deck. There should be a door at the end of the hall. All right, let's go. That makes what, one, two, three, four of us. There it is. You guys ready? Yeah. And let's get to it. I found it! It's right there! Uh, cool. <sighs> it stopped. Yes! It stopped! Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I don't think you could. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> you got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. Nah, I feel you. Just, even if you don't have the money, just put it all on a credit card and just go. Because, like, fuck it. You only live once, especially after this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Just live life, you know? Don't think about the consequences. All right, let's go. After dealing with this crap. This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell is this? This has to be the biggest room so far. This, huh, could be two stories, maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. Interesting. What's that huge Kamaboko looking building in the middle? Kamaboko? <laughs> Well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I see stairs, so we may as well head over to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. 
You're right. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. This looks to be the steam engine room. The steam engine room? Yes, that thing that looks like a cross-section of a mushroom is the boiler. You see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. All right, let's split up. Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? That's not good. Hey, June. Jumpy. You, oh, you're, you're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes, yes, it probably is, but I'm fine. Damn. Please, Bad timing. don't worry about me. I just need to rest, and I'll be fine. Okay, okay, uh, here, sit down, uh, careful. Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right. All right, let's get started. Hang in there, June. I'm gonna get you out of here real soon. Alrighty, seek a way out. Let's do it. <laughs>